this sense of relief as such because this moment has been playing on my mind for, for years actually. I didn't think in my lifetime I'd play for England. However, the work does not stop. We've been at this for years, like this is no coincidence of, of the players in the squad, but it's still that little sense of relief because it's what I've been, been training for, looking forward to for a couple of years now, yeah. To find out we're selected, we get the message on the WhatsApp group and it's just a PDF come through and it always comes through dead on time. And if it's 30 seconds late, people are messaging each other on the players group like, what's going on? Has she got it yet? Has she sending it out? <laughs> Very much, if it's coming out at seven o'clock on a Thursday, we want it at seven o'clock on a Thursday. I was invited to my brothers for dinner, so I wanted to be in the house with them when I found out. So everyone sit down and chill out, we've got 30 seconds. So my nephew read it out to me, I let him take the phone and bless him, he doesn't know anything about rugby, he doesn't know any players, because it's in alphabetical order. We got to Jeff Breach, I thought, oh, if I'm not next, that's it. And he went, shoulder brown. A bit of a bit of happiness, lots lots of happiness around actually, not a bit, there's a lot of happiness around. There's been some tense moments as you get closer to games and when a squad is selected and there's players who are in the team now who weren't there in the beginning and there's players who were there in the beginning from game one that are not here now. This is not just about the World Cup squad here today, it's about everyone that's come before us and hopefully inspire people to want to play the future as well. I 100% know I'd just cry the whole time and get quite a cry off randomly for that, but it'll be uh, so an emotional moment. Rugby's coming, it'll catch on.